I'm a total beginner at this stuff. This is the very first time I've tried to remove rivets. Um, I'm new to having a diesel, uh, new to all of this stuff. So this whole build out and conversion process is going to be an entirely new experience for me. And I greatly appreciate any advice from all of you. Just please be patient with me because I'm on the learning curve here. I'm a total newbie. on these uh, rivets here trying to remove this piece of railing for quite a while actually several hours uh, first I tried drilling out the middle of the rivet and I probably worked on one rivet back over here for oh, probably 40 minutes and just barely made any indentation on it no progress at all um, I got a chisel and a hammer a sledgehammer uh, for my brother-in-law and went back trying it again. He was able to get this one off with the chisel and the hammer. So I went to the next rivet here and worked on this for, oh, probably 45 minutes to an hour with the chisel and the hammer. And I couldn't get it, uh, it just wouldn't come off. So finally I switched to another tool. I switched to this tool, which is pretty darn cool. I don't even know what it's called. It's uh, similar to a little crowbar but I think it's made more for a hammer by the top on it and I used this tool and I was able to get it onto the edge of this rivet here behind it and to pop it out of the wall and this took probably 10 to 15 minutes so I'm thinking at this point probably a grinder is going to be way faster than the drill or uh, trying to use any sort of uh, chisel on this so anyway, I'm going to continue here. I got a couple more rivets out with this tool and uh, continue on until uh, later tonight when my brother-in-law gets home and see if I can use his grinder and probably end up continuing tomorrow. Home Depot doing some shopping here getting the materials to build the floor area actually we're probably the subfloor so the plan is to make a sandwich first we're going to put down this one inch pink foam here and then on top of that put in some tongue and groove uh, CD CDX plywood so my brother-in-law here Merrill is helping me load this since I've just had my surgery a few weeks ago and um, some of this stuff is a little bit heavy for me so we've got four sheets of plywood and four sheets of insulation and then some adhesive that we're going to use to um, apply everything and get that sandwich put all together. It's the evening and my sister and my brother-in-law have decided to take me out for a treat to a special restaurant in, what is the name of the restaurant again? McMinimums. McMinimums. So McMinimums is, what, what's it known for? Why is it famous? It's an old a roadhouse. You'll have to ask Meryl. Okay, so my brother-in-law is the expert and knows all about this old roadhouse. So we're going to head out from my okay. sister's house, go down there, and I'm going to get a hamburger because once a week... I love to have a hamburger for a splurge meal, so this is the place I'm going. Wow, this is really a spectacular restaurant. Not like any restaurant I've been to before with these giant columns going up and the two stories looks more like, I don't know, um, a university or a, a government building or something like that. And then there's this big lawn area out here and then some picnic tables uh, over there. There's another small restaurant. I'm going to go inside where my brother-in-law is and we're going to have some dinner. This is the entryway. It has all this beautiful mosaic tile work. Lots of wonderful stained glass lights. And apparently there's a hotel here too, so this is the registration check-in area. I've been told they have a movie theater here and you walk up this ramp area. There's this nice mosaic here with the artwork. And then up ahead is the area where you can get your concessions and your movie tickets. Right, 
this young lady is going to tell me about the history of the building in like one or two minutes, not anything in incredible detail. What was your name? My name's Beth. Beth. Oh, that's a great name. That's my sister's name. Oh. <laughs> okay. So tell me a little bit about the building. Uh, so uh, our building was built in 1912, uh, I believe. Okay. Uh, it used to be a home for the Masons and the Eastern Star residents, like oh. a retirement home. Okay. Uh, it was this room that we're in front of right now, the theater, uh, that used to be like their meeting hall, auditorium type space. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really, uh, I guess like a, a statement mm -hmm. building for Forest Grove. Uh, in 1990, or 1982, I believe, is when they built the children's cottage. Oh, okay. Um, and that's where uh, it was an orphanage, so that's where a lot of children lived. Um, pretty soon after that, though, um, they found that the younger kids and then the older um, adults weren't really getting along too well because of the different energies. Um, and that's about when they decided to sell the building. Um, and that's when the McMinnmans brothers got it. And they came in and they kind of revamped it with paintings and they kind of turned. Uh, they turned the auditorium into the theater and we have the multiple bars down in the basement. Bob's okay. Bar is actually named after the McMinimans brother's father. Okay. And uh, there's there's probably a lot more I don't know. But oh, that's fabulous. I didn't know any of that. That's perfect background. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. All right. So we ended up all having hamburgers and did we all get the same burger or different burgers? No, we got different burgers. Okay. Wilbur's? The Wilbur burger, I think, is what you got. A Wilbur burger. It was like the high-end burger, uh, bacon burger. It was pretty good. It's like a $15 burger. I wouldn't say it's the absolute best burger that I've ever had. It was very good. But $15, it's a restaurant experience. It's a good restaurant. Uh, probably worth 10 or 12 is my guess. But you get the restaurant experience, which is pretty cool. Add a couple bucks for that. So it was really good. We had some hummus. I had a milkshake, so that was really good. How was your burger? It was good. I had a boring cheeseburger. It was good. Cheeseburger with blue cheese and bacon on. Blue cheese. I do not like blue cheese. Uh, I so good. People that like blue cheese are crazy about blue cheese, but it's just not for me. I have sort of a cheese phobia. Um, I don't know if I've ever described that before, but childhood traumatic experience, do not like cheese, uh, so that's a tough one for me. Anyway, I think that's all we have for um, our dinner tonight. Um, that's all I have for this episode. Savor the moment, be happy, pursue your passions, see you next episode.